Good morning, everybody. Um, yes, by the look on my face, I am very, very tired. I went on uh, travel last week and for my main job, and Laura did a great job of looking after you, so yay. Thank you, Laura. I want to check in because several, several things are going on. And also, I haven't spoken to you in a while, and you know, I should probably do that. I was going a little crazy with um, my first job about what I had to do, but uh, I went back to the lovely Rockies for this trip, and I knew from going in March that it was going to be very dry no matter what I did. It's just the altitude, you have to drink, you get dehydrated. I can say everyone from work got altitude sickness in three days. It was, it was amazing, but we're coming back to talk about Posh. Apricots overnight. We say that this is an overnight mask, but guess what? I've used it on the plane. I used it on the plane ride, um, both to and from, and it kept my face wonderfully, wonderfully hydrated for the whole day. So you know what? You can break some rules. You don't have to use this at night. What I did is I also used it um, every night while I was out there. I was actually out in Colorado, I will tell you that. Um, again, left my face wonderfully, wonderfully hydrated. So I pre-planned, pre-gamed, you're good to go with this during the day. I used oil. Yep, oil on my face kept me naturally wonderfully hydrated again. Um, we also have Dawn on me for people who do not want to use Love Me Do or if we're actually out of stock. I haven't checked stock on this lately, but um, this was an item that was being retired. But again, we do have the Dawn on me, which is the daytime oil. I will say oil, great. Um, I'm also digging prize on the eyes. Uh, I personally haven't seen much change in this eye because as you can see there are some faint lines. But this eye? Holy crap. When I um, put this on, I've put it on, I've used it I think I want to say for a week and a half. And I can definitely tell my under eye area is a lot smoother. These wrinkles are reduced and I'm hoping they will completely go away. I don't know if that's going to happen. I may be wishful thinking. but. This does give you smooth, It, it's very smooth, it's very, very hydrating, very moisturizing. So, prize on the eyes, really good for an eye moisturizer. And a lot of people are like, well, why do I have to use an eye moisturizer? Well, I didn't for a number of years because I figured, you know what, I could just use my regular moisturizer. Hello, do you see these? These are my eyelids. I have none over here, which makes no freaking sense. But I've, I've had these right here since I was at least... 25 or 30. Um, so anyway, start moisturizing with this. This will work a miracle for your eyes and it'll, it'll keep them from um, looking creepy and liney for, oh, I don't know, at least a good couple years. We'll also hydrate and smooth things out. Yeah, I'm that tired, people. Um, lastly, when I came back on Friday night and all weekend, I know this is sun's out, fun's out. This was our summer line, but it has vitamin E and vitamin E is very moisture replenishing. Put this on my face at night, just um, during the day, just like, hey, just in case my skin got that whole funky airplane, you're changing time zones on me kind of crap. So um, it did well. I'm wearing it actually right now because I didn't use anything last night. I was really lazy. I just, I conked out. Um, also, what was I going to say? Oh, big fat yummy hand creams. Big fat yummy hand creams do work, but the problem with that is the place is just so dry, you're constantly putting uh, lotion on. By the time I was three days into it, my my hands, the skin on my hands kind of got the message, hey, we're going to start absorbing uh, moisture at this point in time, so don't be discouraged if it doesn't work right away. It just takes some time. I mean, and you're using your hands more than your face to do things, you know, because we can't use our face to hold items and we're also washing our hands more than we are our face because we go to the bathroom so don't get discouraged just keep putting it on it, it, it'll catch up I promise lastly you're probably like what the hell is going on with the site and I have been out so I wasn't paying attention um, I knew there were gonna be some upgrades yes there's gonna be some upgrades yes people are missing perks and I'm really sorry um, that that's what I can say um, they're working out some kinks, they're working out some bugs. If you would like to put an order in right now and your account's a little funky, let me know. And what I can do is I can order these items for you and ship them to you. You can just pay me in PayPal. If you want to wait, I don't know how long it's going to be. There's updates in the newsroom every day, but the problem is I even have problems. I am in, stuck in login hell. And I say login hell because when I go to log in to see my business, to see the newsroom, guess what? It kicks me back out and says, hey, you must log in again. So I've even submitted a ticket. 
um, just so I can see my account. So hopefully this will get fixed. I know it's very discouraging. I know um, some of us work in IT and we're like, the major bugs should have been fixed before it rolled out. We can handle the little ones. I get it. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say other than I'm sorry. If you need help, if you need an order, let me know and I'll go ahead and put that through for you. You can pay me via PayPal. I'll get that information in. If you have any product questions, let me know. And I don't have it with me. It's back in the kitchen. I did get a sample of It's Bubbly, and that is the new lip oil. And I'm really big on the lip oils because, hey, you know, sometimes the chapstick just doesn't cut it. Uh, the lip oil is more moisturizing. Well, It's Bubbly is the champagne and ginger, and I actually got a sample in my last order. When I ordered, guess what, samples for you guys, but don't tell anybody. I, I love it. I absolutely love the way it feels. It's a little lighter than Preach Peach, and it actually kind of tastes good, too. So, um... Yeah, I was eating it. I will admit to that. So Heather, yes, you're right. I do eat some of the products. I can't help it. They just, they're natural and they taste good. Um, but who hasn't licked their lip gloss? I mean, come on, who hasn't tasted it just once? So I really like that. And I really, uh, um, I really would advise that um, for you all, especially people who thought the Preach Peach was just a little too heavy. Uh, I think that's about it. I do have samples that I'll have to get out to people. Um... Anyway, I think I should go. I should get really ready for work and stop all this rambling. But I just wanted to say hey and check in and let you know where things are and uh, products. Talk about products. If you have any questions, let me know.